thanks Vivek so much for that let's uh, now go across to none other than Aditya Narain we spoke to him regarding the telecom pack what does he view of course Aditya Narain uh, is uh, India strategist at Edelweiss let's hear out his perspective at the end of the day that is the backbone of the kind of growth you've seen in the economy and it's necessarily going to be the backbone of broader growth that you see in the economy uh, and the fact that it's you know fundamental or largely become a two-player market at least in terms of of, of incremental moves uh, just makes it a very good setup for stocks like these to do uh, uh, do particularly well i think the caveats are two one is that it's not very clear how much of tariff hike hike or the direction in tariff tariff hikes is in the control of Bharti. in many senses it's a two-player market one has to take the lead and i think they've been a little reluctant to necessarily take the the, the lead so i think that from a timing perspective creates a little bit of uncertainty or it lessens the confidence in terms of the term of the way the stock will tend to pay out. That's one bit. I think the other bit which is also um, uh, which you need to watch for from a, from a stock perspective is really the whole the entire 5G rollout, right? Historically, whether it is in India or globally, whenever you've got into a next leg of technology, while it's been great for broader market expansion, right, and obviously for the efficiencies it provides, the reality is the incumbents are the ones who have actually been have, have been forced to end up putting in a lot of capital, right, uh, and that is not necessarily good for uh, uh, for stock performances. Now, it does not mean that it won't be good for stock performances, but it is not capex of this nature. Given what's happened with India in the past, with telecom in India in the past you know, the market is just going to be a little bit more watchful. So I think we're in a good space in terms of the direction, in terms of the competitive flavor, and in terms of how Bharti and, you know, and, and, and Reliance are on top of the sector, right? All of that, I think, is, in, is in, in place. But whether you're going to necessarily see this as the start of a long, strong cycle, I think the timing is a little bit of an issue. And so I think to that extent, I wouldn't say that you know, the next three, six months, this is where all the response is going to be in terms of, of, of stock market performance. But directionally, you're in a good place. And as far as yesterday's analyst call is concerned, I think you know the management has very, very clearly laid out um, what their thinking is, what their action steps are likely to be. And I think they've also actually cut out a lot of the speculation that goes around a lot of these things. So I think a very positive de development directionally i think on a very good wicket exact timing in terms of how a lot of this plays out i think it's, it's, it's that's a little slightly harder call moving on and our time for et now in